What's up, what's up, this your boy JG, back with another video on music tips and reviews with JG. I uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please press the subscribe button so you'll be up there all my latest content. Uh, this is going to be a good ranking. I'm going to rank uh, Beyonce albums. Uh, you know, I'm not a, a huge, huge fan of Beyonce. But I am a fan of Beyonce and uh, I love, you know, her albums, you know, the albums she put together. And uh, yeah, she's she's one of the hardest working uh, females in the game. You know, they don't call her Queen B for nothing. And uh, I know I got to be careful in this ranking because I know it's a lot of beehives, beehive out there <laughs> that'll get me. But uh, I'm going to rank her albums uh beyonce albums uh, yeah so i i gotta be careful with this one uh i'm just gonna do her six albums her solo albums not the album she did with jay-z or her homecoming album or the lion king album i'm just ranking her six um solo albums so um i'm gonna start from the top uh, from six to one uh, six is my less great great you know album for, that I think you know Beyonce made the the ultimate one the great you know album I think she made you know in her career so um, I'm gonna I'm start from the top and also uh, please uh, give me a cash app um, so, uh, please support me on uh, cash app if you want to um, I got the cash app on the bottom, dollar sign J Gills VA. Please support, and uh, I continue to give you, uh, you know, great content. Content. So uh, if you want to support, please uh, support uh, me on Cash App, and also, uh, yeah, just continue to tell others about my channel. Um, you know, I strive to give good content and good information on the stuff that I give you. You know. Your boy study, study his stuff before he come out with these videos. So I greatly appreciate it. So uh, uh, I'm going to get into it. Uh, I believe my number six on the list. Number six album, I think. So I'm going to go to the best to the less best, <laughs> I guess. The less great. So my sixth one is... I feel it's Lemonade. Lemonade is not my number six. Uh, uh, Lemonade was pretty good, but uh, I don't know. It's just too kind of like uh, like a diary for her, like a a therapeutic album. Um, I believe she was talking about Jay Z on a lot of this because y'all know Jay Z. You know he kind of <laughs> went outside of the, the marriage and stuff like that. You know things happen, and Jay Z talked about it on his four 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 album uh, a little bit after this album came out. So uh, yeah, Lemonade. Uh, I couldn't really get all the way into it. Uh, of course, it was like a surprise album, like the Be Self Title album. Um, it just came out. You know, people bought it. Um, it was a few songs up here that were pretty good uh, on the on the lemonade album uh i like hold up i like don't hurt yourself that was a pretty good song that was a, that was a single uh, i like the way serena williams was in that video so uh yeah uh, formation was good sandcastles uh daddy's lesson that was a good song as well so it was it was some good songs, but it it won't great songs to me. You know, it won't huge huge songs like she usually put out. But uh, yeah, that's my number six. I think when she put this album out, she just wanted to put something out that was therapeutic for her, something different. Uh, Daddy's lesson got a little like country twang to it, so I like that that song as well. Uh, so yeah, number six is uh, Lemonade for me. So I'm going to get to my number five. This was kind of tough. So my number five has to be um, 
I am Sasha Fierce. Um, I think she was really trying to stretch herself on this album. Um, as far as the sound of the album, it was different for her. Uh, but it was it was a good album. It had a few good cuts up here, a few good songs, a few good hits on this album. Uh, I am Sasha Fierce. So let's get to the track list. Uh, if I Were a Boy, that was a, a big song. Uh, Hello, Hello, uh, written by uh, Ryan Teeter, great songwriter. Uh, she did Ave Maria. That was, that was a good song as well. Uh, Satellites, Smashing to You. I love that song, Smashing to You, uh, written by The Dream, produced by Tricky Williams. I mean, Tricky Stewart, excuse me, Tricky Stewart. And uh, on the second side, like, I'm not really into double disc albums, like one part, you know, two parts, you know, to an album, because it feel I feel like it takes away from the in individual songs if you put too many songs on the album. So that's kind of the disadvantage of, you know, her doing this album. So this, this is my number five, um, I Am Sasha Fierce. Uh, I love Scared or Lonely. That was a good song, too. That was like a bonus song, I believe. Uh, Deluxe Edition. It was on the Deluxe Edition. And Ego, that was good. I love the remix with uh, Kanye West. So uh, I am Sasha Fierce. Um, I feel that's my number five um, in her catalog of albums. Uh, I believe I am Sasha Fierce. My number, yeah, my number five. So let's get to my number four. My number four has to be uh, Dangerously in Love. And I know y'all like, why Dangerously in Love is like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> number four. Uh, it was okay. I feel there was a lot of fillers on this album too. There was a lot of fillers on this album as well. Um. Uh, I love a lot of songs like Naughty Girl, Naughty Girl, Baby Boy, uh, Me, Myself, and I was a good song. But I believe there's a lot of songs up here that was kind of, <laughs> kind of, you know, sleepers on this album that didn't really, you know, go through. Uh, Crazy in Love was the big song on this album featuring Jay Z. You know, when Jay Z and her get together, it's a, it's a smash. Produced by uh, Rich Harrison. Uh, Rich Harrison is uh, one of the top producers at that time. You know, he did one thing for A. Marie. That was a huge song as well. So, yeah, uh, you know, Dangerous in Love is number four to me on in her, you know, catalog of music. But it, it was a good album. Uh, all her, her albums are pretty good, but, I, you know, this is number four for me. And so I'm going to get to the number three, number three album. Uh, let's get to that number three album. Number three. So number three, this was kind of tough for me to order these from uh, least great to the ultimate great one. But uh, I'm going to have to say, that number three is Beyonce's self titled album. And uh, I believe she experimented a lot on this one. A lot of the, the songs were very simple, simplistic. And uh, I love the concept of the, of the album. You know, it, it showed the more sensual side of her. And uh, it's, it's, this is when, you know, we got into the trap sound and all that stuff uh, with Beyonce. Uh, Drunken Love with Jay-Z, that was a big song. A lot of good songs on this album. EXO, produced by Ryan, uh, rent by Ryan Teeter. Uh, Jealous, Partition. There's a lot of songs on here. Rocket, a lot of good songs on this album. Uh, Superpower, written by Frank Ocean. That was a good song as well. So, um, and, a, and shout out to James Farn Leroy. He wrote a lot of stuff on this album. As well, in uh, Timberland, he did a lot of production up here on this album. As far as production, and there was a lot of co-producers on this on this album, like Detail, uh, Harmon, 
uh, the dream, a lot of, a lot of, you know, upcoming producers during that time was on this album. So, uh, yeah, that was my number three, uh, Beyonce. It was a pretty good album. Uh, so that was, that was my number three, Beyonce. So, uh, also, you know, let me know your ranking, what you think, uh, is the ranking in your uh, in your thoughts? Uh, what's your best, you know least favorite uh, Beyonce album to your favorite Beyonce album? And uh, number three is Beyonce. So I'm gonna get to my number two, number two, number two, number two. Uh, four is my number two album. Uh, a lot of stuff happened during this album. Of course, she was in it. With the first, first they first child her beyond uh Jay-Z, they first child blue. And uh, you know, during the minute middle of the promotion of this album, she got, you know, she was pregnant. And uh she had a lot of good songs on here. One plus one, written by the dream, produced by Tricky Stewart. Um, I Miss You, that was a good song, very good song. The best thing I never had, written by Babyface, JQ Smith. Uh, Dixon, Antonio Dixon produced by him as well. Great, great, uh, you know, great combination as far as production and songwriting. Uh, party. We like to party. <laughs> that was a good song. Uh, Love on Top. They play that on radio all the time still. Um, End of Time. That was good. Uh, Run the World. Who Run the World? So, so it was a lot of good songs. Countdown. That was a single as well. So it was a lot of good songs on this album. Uh, four. Um, it was kind of a change of sound as well on this album. Uh, I believe every album she do is a different uh, so- sound sonically. So, uh, so I give you know this album you know number three. Uh, it was a lot of good good songs on this album. Uh, excuse me, this is number two. I mean, <laughs> excuse. Me. This is my number two uh, album. From Beyonce. So uh so my number one, and of course, you know what album is left on on my list. <clears throat> my number one had to be B Day. B Day was was it, you know, B Day was that album. Like there's no no skippers on this album, B Day. Um if you go straight through it. A lot of tracks produced by Swiss Beats, uh, Deja Vu, uh, produced by uh, Doc Child Rodney Jerkins, uh, uh, Kitty Cat, uh, Pharrell Williams. Just the whole album, uh, Resentment, Irreplaceable, Green Light. Man, it, it was so many songs on this album that was groundbreaking. Up with you. Uh, shout out to Sean Garrett, great songwriter on this album. Uh, Rain the Alarm, Get Me Body, uh, Listen. That that was also on the album as well. So it was a lot of good good songs on this album. So uh, that's that's my number one uh, on this album. I mean, this album B Day was my favorite uh, Beyonce album. So uh, this this been my ranking uh, of Beyonce albums, and I can't wait to see you know what solo album she come out with next. Um, in the future, um, I know she got some stuff she she probably working on because, you know, she's a very, very um, hard worker as far as music is concerned and everything that she do. So uh, I can't wait to see what's in the future. But uh, my number six was uh, Lemonade. Uh, number five. My number five was, let me, I got to go back. Yeah, my number five was uh Sasha Fierce excuse me my number yeah my number five was Sasha Fierce my number four was Dangerously in Love number three Beyonce self-titled album number two was uh four and number one was uh B-Day so that's my list um if you have a comment or you want to rank the albums in my comment section please uh Put it below. So I said again, my number six was uh, Lemonade. My number five 
with uh, Sasha Fierce. Number four, Dangerously in Love. Uh, three, Beyonce. Two, four, and uh, my favorite one is B-Day. And so, uh, yeah, it's been my countdown of the Beyonce album. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Uh, again, please subscribe to my channel and continue to support me. Uh, spread the word about my channel and uh, I support you as well. So this has been another video from your boy JG. All right, peace.